Hello, everyone. In this lecture, we talk about stars and bars method in counting. This is a more advanced skill in counting. Let's see how this method works. So, for example, we have question: How many ways can we distribute four same boards to A, B, C three people? So, how can we think about this question? So, normally we will think: Okay, we have A, B, C three people. If A got zero, then it can be zero, four, one, three, two, two. So, list there are five ways. And when A got one, there are four ways for B and C. A got two, there are three ways. So in total, adding together, there are fifteen ways. So this general method works well when number is small. But how how about when the number becomes very big? Say we have to distribute ten boards to three people, then it's gonna be like harder to think about. Um. So now it comes to the stars and the bars method. Here's how it works.、Um, we have say still three boards, one, two, three, four. We still have four boards, and we want to separate to three people. So it's like adding two dividers. So for example, if in this case there are four stars and two dividers, so this means A got four. B got zero, C got zero, and in this case it's three one zero, and in this case it's one two one. So now we can simplify this question into star and bars, which means we have six objects in total, so four boards and two dividers, six objects in total, and there are two dividers. So basically, we are thinking,、uh, in those six objects, which two place should be put as divider? So it's choose two out of six, which is fifteen. And the, when the number comes too big, say for example, we want to give ten boards to four people. So we can consider four people. So we need three dividers. The three dividers in total there are thirteen objects, and in those thirteen place we put three dividers. So choose three out of thirteen will be the answer. Yeah, that's a very convenient way, a much faster way to do those type of counting questions. Okay, let's see a real example. This is from two thousand one ten A problem nineteen. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's take a look. So we have three types of donut. Let's say it's A, B, C, three types, and we want to buy four of them, four donuts, and the four donuts combined by A or B or C. There are no other restrictions, so it's like we have four donuts. It should be either A or B or C. How many different selections? So this is a very good time. We use star and bars method. So we need two divider to separate them into A or B or C, and、uh, so there are six objects and the two place to put the bar. So two out of six. The answer is six times five divided by two, fifteen. And the, this question, the number is small. You can also use the general method to get fifteen. It's not hard to get fifteen.、Uh, let's see another question. When the number comes too big. Okay, this this question comes from two thousand eighteen TNA problem eleven. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. So the question is, what is n? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven fair standard dice, and they adding together should equal to ten. So we have seven numbers adding together is ten, and each of them is at least one. So when we do seven minus uh ten minus seven, we have three left, which means those three we have. Give to 
either one. So it's like we distribute three things to seven people in any order. So this one is a bit weird. It's like we have, now we have three stars. Let's say we have three stars. Use the star and the bars method. And then we have distribute to seven people. So which means we're gonna have six different bars. Now the bar is six. Uh, six bars and uh, three stars. So total nine object and the choose six bars. This is the same as choose three out of nine. So it's nine times eight times seven divided by three factorial, which is six. So this gives us, um, so 12 times seven, 84 will be our answer. And uh, you can use a general method, I mean, different method to check the answer. But here, star and bars method will be the easiest. Okay, now let's see a more difficult one. This is 2016 10A problem 20. So I would say this is a part C question. I put it here because I would like you to see the use of star and bars method in more difficult questions and how convenient it could be. Okay, let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. If we open this expression, so it's gonna be a power of x, b power of y, c power of z, d power of say p, and times one power of q, um, this is each term, and uh, we have x plus y plus z plus p plus q, that is n. So now this question simplify into this, and we know it said 101 terms that include all four variables a, b, c, d, so which means x, y, z, p should be at least one. So if we minus one, we're gonna have we minus those four, so we have n minus four um, numbers left, and it should distribute to x, y, z, p, q. So now we have n minus four stars, and we have four divider, right? Because we have to separate them into five numbers, so it's four dividers. And how many method is those together, adding together is n, and the choose four, choose four out of n, we will get 101. So it's like we have to solve this. So how can we do? Um, so we know this is equal to n times n minus one times n minus two times n minus three divided by four factorial, 24. So it seems we have to Prime factorize 1001. This is not very hard. It's like 11 times 91. 91 is 13 times 7. So from here, we can easily figure out n should be equal to 14. 14 times 13 times 12 times um, 11. And the 24, you can cancel, leave with 7 times 13 times 11. That's exactly 101. So this question, I think you have to use star and bars method. Otherwise, it's gonna be very difficult. So let's, like I said, this is a more advanced skill. It, it's, it may not seem very useful when number is small, but when number comes too big, it's gonna be very, very useful, this method. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next lecture.